Okay, let's go. Yeah, ran out of bullets. There we go. Follow me now, biatch. So anyway, like I said, I don't think you need to be a racist to vote for Trump. Okay, because I voted for Trump, I'm not a racist. You know? And I'm so-called black, too. And, okay. The reason why I say so-called black, because I think people are getting... They're getting hung up on that so-called black thing. The reason why I say so-called black is because of cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when you... When your beliefs and your actions are contrary to each other. Okay? So... And when you have cognitive dissonance, cognitive dissonance, you, um, you love certain people. Mm. Okay. So when you have cognitive dissonance, it's almost like you snap. You know, it's, li it's like living with a lie, basically. You know, you live with a lie, that's fine. Like, let's just say, mommy's a man. You know what I'm saying? Now that's kind of, it's, it's a lie because you know your mother's not a man. Ooh. And that's what you call cognitive dissonance. So, in order to keep remembering, oh, she's not a man. You keep remembering that, to have to remember that all the time, that means you hold a belief that isn't true. So, and your brain can't take a lot of that. Just like telling, uh, telling a lie. You know, if you say... On January 21st, let's just say you was cheating on your girl. And you have to say, and you have to, you told her that um, on January 21st, you was at your friend's house when you was actually at her sister's house fucking her, right? So, she might ask you, okay, where was you at? Oh, I was at my friend's house, Jerry's house. I was at my friend Jerry's house, blah, 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 blah. We played, you know, we played pool. We watched the game, whatever, right? So, she asked me a week later, oh, where were you at? Oh, where were you at again? Oh, yeah, you... Where was that? Yeah, I said we were at, um... Jerry's house, right? You know what I'm saying? See, now, you see how much energy it takes to remember that lie? That's what cognitive dissonance is. Because you're using up energy to up uphold a belief that's not... That you don't believe and that is not true. So what happens is, over time, you know... You exhaust that. You you use so much energy. You exhaust yourself, and you end up going crazy. So let's just say somebody is weak. Hang on a second. Hang on. Okay. Oh, somebody behind me. Okay, so, so, man, I don't want to tell this. So, so basically, what happens is, if you tell someone, you're better than everybody else, you're better than them, you're better than them, and, and they try to live that lifestyle and try to act like they're better, like, yeah, I am better than it. And, we get this a lot, right? Oh, let me turn around. So, um... Let's say you do that, right? And you tell your child, hey, you're better than everybody else. Okay. Now your child goes to school, and they really see, like, actually, everybody else is better than me. Everybody else, they're bigger, they're stronger, they're smarter, you know, they're more creative. So what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So what happens is... Uh-oh. Oh, motherfuckers. So what happens is, um, you end up, uh-oh, whoa, these motherfuckers. I'm gonna shoot you motherfuckers. Mm. Looking for a headshot. But what happens is, 